Ever wondered why your conversations tend to end quicker than a hiccup? Well, you're not alone. It's a common problem, and it's not because you're boring or because the other person is uninterested. It's often due to a lack of understanding of the art of conversation. Yes, that's right, conversation is an art. And like any art, it requires practice and understanding to master. It's the lifeblood of our social interactions, the bridge that connects us to others, and a crucial tool in our everyday lives. From the casual chit-chat at the coffee shop to the serious discussions at work, conversations play a vital role in shaping our relationships and our understanding of the world. Yet many of us struggle to keep a conversation going, often finding ourselves in awkward short-lived discussions that end quicker than we'd like. But don't worry, we've got you covered. Stay tuned, we're about to dive into some tips that'll make your chats as long as a full-season binge watch. Tip number one, be like a bee, buzz with enthusiasm. Now imagine this scenario, you're at a party, and you're stuck in a conversation with someone who talks about the weather with the same enthusiasm as a sloth climbing a tree. Not much fun, right? Now let's flip the script. Imagine you're chatting with someone who's as excited about the topic as a kid in a candy store. They're brimming with energy, their eyes light up, their hands are animated, it's infectious, isn't it? You find yourself drawn into the conversation even if the topic isn't your usual cup of tea. Enthusiasm is the secret sauce that turns mundane monologues into jolly jabber. It's the spark that lights up the conversation making it engaging, lively and fun. So the next time you're in a conversation remember to sprinkle a dash of enthusiasm. It's a game changer, trust me. Remember, a conversation without enthusiasm is like a sandwich without the filling. Utterly disappointing. Scene script. Next up channel your inner detective become a question master. Imagine you are Sherlock Holmes except instead of solving mysteries you're cracking the code of riveting conversation. The key? Open-ended questions. Not the yes or no kind but the ones that make people pause, think, and share a piece of their story. Now picture this. You're at a party and you ask someone, do you like this music? They respond with a simple yes or no, and the conversation dies faster than a goldfish's memory. But what if instead you ask, what's your favorite kind of music and why? Suddenly you've opened the door to a world of personal taste, memories, and maybe a heated debate about the merits of jazz versus country. Remember though, balance is key. You want to spark curiosity, not make someone feel like they're under the microscope in a science lab. So, sprinkle those open-ended questions throughout the conversation like a master chef seasoning a fine dish. But beware, you're aiming for Sherlock Holmes, not an interrogation officer. Now let's talk about the silent hero of conversations. Listening. It's the unsung champion, the secret ingredient that can turn a mundane chat into a memorable discourse. Picture this. You're at a party, and someone starts telling a story about their encounter with a llama. Now you could be busy planning your grocery list in your head, but instead, you choose to listen, actively. You nod, you laugh at the right moments, you ask questions about the llama's dietary preferences. Suddenly, you're not just a passive receiver, you're part of the story. You're engaging, you're understanding, you're connecting. And that, my friends, is the power of good listening. Whether you're conversing with your boss, your partner, or a llama enthusiast at a party, remember to lend your ear. You'll be surprised at the depth of understanding and connection it can create. So, keep your ears wide open, you never know when you'll catch a juicy piece of gossip. Alright, let's do a quick recap before you go out there and conquer the world of words. We've journeyed through the realms of Jolly Jabber and Curious Cat, and even took a meditative stop at Listening Llama. Along the way we've picked up some valuable nuggets of wisdom. Firstly, enthusiasm is your best friend. It's the secret sauce that can turn mundane monologues into riveting repartee. Secondly, never underestimate the power of a well-placed question. It's the spark that can ignite a delightful dialogue. Lastly, but certainly not the least, the art of listening. Remember, a good conversation is like a game of tennis, it's all about the back and forth. So, armed with these tips, you're all set to become the chit-chat champion, the sultan of small talk, the emperor of eloquence. Remember, conversation is an art, and now you're the Picasso of chatter, go out and create some masterpieces.